Um, I think the best way of communicating stem cell research to to the public or how I would like to receive it is a lot more um, through the news, um, but high profile uh, re reports, uh, let's say with nature representatives, new scientist representatives, um, people, the, the funding bodies, the MRC, that they, they're the ones that have the eligi eligibility, um, rather than just being so seclusive and, uh, well, exclusive, sorry, to journals, um, but maybe through TV programs, through newspapers, which are the Times or uh, ones which are a little bit higher ranked. Um, but easier access rather than just exclusive. Um, with, restrict, with access to the stem cell banks um, and who has, who has ownership of it, I think it should be um, a mixture of both government and industry because we, we actually discussed part of this was um, industry would help to develop, put the money into it, and then government would be able to present that to the general public in a cheaper way, a more accessible way. Um, they have a lot more of the general public in point of view, but um, the industry are a little bit more exclusive with regards to their, their costing and stuff like that. So I think it should be a, a mixture of both, really. <laughs> Um, I think uh, stem cell research should be communicated to the public along loads of different channels because everyone has a slightly different knowledge of, um, of what stem cells are about and how much research there is going on. So I think um, newspapers do have a role, but also um, slightly more scientific journals and um, more spoken presentations because some people find that easier to engage with. I think sessions like this are really important um, to look at things like stem cell research because it's a lot easier to have something presented to you by experts in the field than to actually have the motivation to go out and look for it yourself, to work out how reliable the advice is and so on. So it makes it a bit easier, but also it's really interesting for people to be able to engage this way, to discuss it with each other. Um, I don't think it would ever come up in normal conversation otherwise, um, but it is a really important issue, so this is a great way to do that. Hi, so I'm Phil Newsom. I'm a clinician as an interest in research in, uh, in liver disease. Um, so today's session was all about trying to find out what the public um, understand about stem cells, both in terms of how effective stem cells are and also what the uh, limitations are, what the safety issues are with the use of stem cells. And also really trying to get a feel for how they believe the information that's transmitted. Um, you know, whether it be radio, TV, with respect to stem cells, and do they do they believe certain um, media outlets more than others, and and, and what's their general perception about um, stem cell usage? Um, there was also a lot of discussion about what um, safety uh, parameters stem cells need to uh, meet before they can be used in clinical practice, and it was very interesting to to hear different perspectives on that. I think overall, I was very impressed in the um, the knowledge that was present in the group in terms of stem cells and the issues around them. I think very pleased with the attendance and also the uh, the level of interaction.